conservative Christian group is holding a rally in the state capitol, urging state leaders to defend North Carolina's ban on gay marriage in court. Our Bill O'Neill is live in Raleigh. Bill, what's the reason behind the gathering? Well, I can tell you, Margo, that uh, two years ago, many of the people who fought for North Carolina's marriage amendment are back here today trying to fight to keep it. Now, one of the problems is that the number of courts around the country, including the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeal, have struck down anti-gay marriage laws. North Carolina lawmakers are talking about coming back this upcoming year and doing something that the Attorney General says he will not, and that is defend North Carolina's marriage amendment. Joining us right now is State Senator Andrew Brock. And tell me, sir, what is it that you would like to see the legislature do in light of what the Attorney General has said? Well, first, I would like for the Attorney General to do his job. He's not doing his job enforcing the laws that the people of North Carolina voted. Over 60 percent of the uh, citizens of North Carolina voted to protect a traditional marriage between man and a woman. And uh, the Attorney General has taken it upon himself not to listen to the people of North Carolina, not to enforce the law. And so it's a real sad day in North Carolina history that our own Attorney General has turned us back on the people of North Carolina. There are two things that come up here. One, the fact that this is going to be a tough law to win in light of what's happening in other states. And the other being the cost. You're a frugal senator in this state. You're talking about spending money above and beyond to hire private counsel to come out and defend this law? Well, we have to do something because Roy Cooper will not do his job. He's not doing his job, so we have to find someone that will represent North Carolina values and the laws that the people of North Carolina voted on. Over 60 percent wanted this on the books. So if he won't do his job, we have to find somebody that will do uh, his job. And currently, uh, the Attorney General, Roy Cooper, will not do his job. And you're expecting that the lawmakers here in Raleigh come the new year will hire some kind of private counsel to make this fight? Well, we were hoping that uh, Roy Cooper would listen to the people of North Carolina, uh, that he'll do his job, that he'll have of, uh, you know, quote, change of heart again. He was, uh, he supported traditional marriage before. Um, I guess on the campaign trail, he's changed his mind. Uh, but I wish he would go back to his values that he grew up with in Rocky Mount and support traditional marriage. And here you say, though, that will lawmakers take the step of... If we, have, if we have to, we'll do whatever we have to do to protect uh, traditional marriage in North Carolina. State Senator Andrew Brock from Davie County, thank you for joining us thank here you, today. Thank you. Appreciate it. The crowd is estimated at 2,500 here today at the rally. We're on the Halifax Mall right outside of the legislative building. This is the same place where they've held multiple rallies in the past in support of North Carolina's marriage amendment today, once again, fighting to keep that law. In Raleigh, Bill O'Neill, WXII, 12 News.